Hello and welcome to the home of the ghost island. Here we are with our Durthu campaign. We're doing all the Wood Elf Legendary Lords, 50 turns, no auto resolve, normal battle, normal campaign. Um, so we're going to see uh, how we get on. So far on turn 33, this is episode 4. Um, I think it's probably with the battles we've got to fight, it's going to be at least uh, two more episodes to get to that turn 50. But we're going to see how we do. Uh, so we now have the ability uh, to get Treek in. Uh, so I just need to have um, this Tree Man Lord take Castle Carcass on. He's going to go back, load up with Tree Men, drop them off for Durthu. And we're going to focus on dealing with our short campaign victory, which is uh, the destruction of the Barrow Legion. And then obviously... The raising of settlements. I'm uh, I'm currently at war with the Vissenland, uh, which is a shame, and they have taken one of my settlements here. I, I don't want to go to war with the Empire. I'm trying to maintain good relations with them. They just didn't like the fact I had to deal with Carrot Norn, um, and I'm trying to keep good relations with the Bretonians. I want I basically I want Bretonia and Empire to protect my northern flank. Uh, well, I then move down, deal with Skya, deal with the Beastmen here and Sartosa. And then maybe after that, if we were going into a long campaign, you'd think about going across to the desert. But let's see what happens. One more turn to capture Castle Carcassonne. So we're leaving that one. We only had a few turns to siege it out. So we left that. And uh, Durthu here is currently sieging out Massive Orkel, who have a pretty strong garrison. So uh, let's... Choose our research. What are we going to go for this time? Lord Recruit Rank. Uh, cooldown uh, Law of Life. Casualty Replenishment for Dryad, Treekin, and Tree Man. Is there anything more, anything more to say to that one? Got to be that one, right? It's got to be that one. So let's take that. Uh, as we've said, Treekin, absolutely fantastic. Anything we can do to buff them up will be incredibly useful. Aranessa. She wants a non-aggression pack, no thanks. That's because she's at war with Skya. Um, okay, so Broken Axe are going after... I said, I said they're sallying out. Are they going to sally out? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's look at the map-wise. This should be a nice, easy battle. And that will give us Carcassonne. Trolls will be the ones, if we can get the trolls down, uh, we can focus on their ranged and it will be all over. Uh, though not overly too worried, we have a bunch of war dancers in the front line, uh, along with a uh, tree lord, ancient tree man, I should say, really, is what he is. Uh, right then, so... Aim is true. Let's have you just come back a second to there, just always sort ourselves out. Ancient tree man goes in the middle... Okay, you're fine. You've got guard stance. You can go there because you are going to be able to. Okay, that's fine. Start deployment, start battle. Tree man here does have uh, awakening of the wood and earth blood, which is nice. So they've only got one troll. Uh, so I think I'm going to put the awakening of the wood here in the middle. Once they get in archer range. Awakening of the Woods, nice. It's an explosion, area damage spell, minus 45% speed. Really useful on uh, Wood Elf uh, armies. And, you know, I have to say, I do think Wood Elf armies are pretty strong right now. Let's just speed that up a bit. Okay, they're just coming into range now. So let's have it about there. There we go. So that whole area now will be slowed down, uh, which will give us more chance for the archers to do their thing. Right, tree man, you're going to go out and deal with that lone troll. have you deal with them they've also now been netted troll is down he's about to go down I 
Yeah, let the war dancers deal with that. Let's have the archers. Why are you not dealing with these dudes? See what we can get to finish them off. Always good to get that uh, increased recruit rank. And as you can see, they're dying pretty quickly. Tree man there. Can he chase them down? Go on, go on. Oh, he's getting there. <laughs> he's like stamping on them. Swings his staff. Is he going to get another one? Oh, there we go. He got, he got three on that one. Look. Go on. Can you get that last one? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? Are you going to get the last one? Go on. <laughs> he got him with his staff on the last one. Uh, there you go. And that was a decisive victory there. And we've now taken Castle Carcassonne. 19 losses. Um, that was mainly, I think, due to their archers. But you can see that actually having uh, a tree man with the law of life, very powerful. And he's got an ability which allows him to basically um, stop whole bunches of enemy units moving. Um, I didn't spot that one early enough. Should have done that at the same time I used the explosion. Uh, but yeah, very, very powerful, very good. So definitely thinking Wood Elves are in a decent spot right now. So we're going to occupy Carcassonne. What uh, defensive alliance with Orion. Mm, do you know what? I'm not going to. He, he does have a tendency to pull you into wars. So right now I'm not. I'm in enough wars as it is. Oh, Morgo the Shadow Grave is over there. I'm going to have to think about him. He's going to be a problem. Uh, right. So control minus five. Recruitment cost for Dryad's melee attack. Burn Dryad's leadership. But... Recruitment cost for dried. Yeah, let's do that. War succeeds. And we got follower gain, spell resistance, enemy leadership. Morgur's been discovered. Win one battle against Norska to confederate with Laura Lorne. Okay. Um, right. Now then. Uh, Treekin are going to be a pain to recruit globally. So we're going to have to find a way. Let's go over this way. I want to get back to here to recruit the Treekin and drop them off, but at two turns and only three recruitment slots, that's going to take a while. So we're going to see if we can use this army to recruit them and deliver them to Durthu. That's the plan. That's the plan. I really don't want to recruit yet another lord right now. Again, more girls now declared war on us. Okay, great. That's uh, less than ideal. What I really, I, I do want to finish off the Barra Legion first. So we can go to here. That stops us from trespassing on these guys. And next turn, then we should be able to get to there and um, get those tree kin. 13 turns, massive Oracle garrison. Not that damaged right now. Not that damaged. Right. Castle Carcassonne. I don't really I don't want to spend the money. Actually, 950. I do want that because it's a trade resource. That's fine then. Um, okay. Uh, building upgrade. No, because we're saving our money to get Treek in. Uh, let's have a look at where we are here. Right, quick deals. Laurelorn. Right, so Laurelorn we can form a non aggression with. So let's have that because you're Wood Elves. I do play a little bit fluffy when I play the Sterland. Okay, we can get a trade agreement with them. That's good because, again, say, trying to build those relationships with the Empire. Um, military access with Kuron, that would also be nice. So let's have that. And then how far are we off? So Reichland, still 25.7. 
But look, we are improving. Like our relations are massively improving. And then Vissenland. Yes. So we can get a peace deal with them right now. Yes. Let's let's see if we can get peace with Vissenland. And, right. and then what I want to do is eventually. Right, Vissenland here. They're seventeen point seven. And they're st they're slowly gonna improve. Like they're gonna improve massively. They're gonna improve massively. And once they do, then we can have. Uh, we'll eventually make them a friendly faction. So even if they control this, it's fine because they'll be a friendly faction. So that's fine. We can we can work on that. We can work on that. Uh, right. Okay. Next turn. Getting through the turns quicker now. I think this could be a quite a quick phase as we try and build up some uh, army and replace uh, some army with Treaky and that sort of thing before then we go off to the Barra Legion and uh, and Morga. Morga, they will be quite tough. And he's going to start putting a lot of corruption around, which is the problem. Hoping while I deal with the Barra Legion, which will be the main target of my short campaign victory, that um, the Bretonians will be doing enough down here. Findle is ready for duty, not worried about him. Right, can we get to... Oh, you're kidding me. Look how close. I can't reach it from Oak of Ages. That's so frustrating. So I've got a lot of Bretonians down here, but uh, yeah, look at the corruption. Morga putting a huge amount of corruption around here, along with the Skaven. No building upgrade. Okay, how are we doing on diplomacy? Barra Legion. Right, Reichland, yes. There we go. So Reichland now... We well, can get that non-aggression pact. That's yeah. good. That's good. This and land working our way there. Laura Lawn, the we can now get a trade agreement world. and military access, which Delivery is good. Uh, what's that? They can, we can confederate with them. I, do I want to confederate with them right now? I don't want to confederate with them right now. I don't really don't want to confederate with them right now. What do you need? Because it's just going to drag me into a war with the Norskans, and I've got enough to worry about right now. So no, we're not going to confederate with them yet. The last thing I want is to draw the Norskans into Bretonia where we're trying to deal with the Barra Legion, with Clan Skyer, with Morga. The Enchantress there. Wants a defensive alliance. No, you're nearly dead anyway, so... I'm always very wary. Defensive alliances and military alliances, you've got to really pick and choose because you can end, you end up with a whole bunch of wars that you really, really don't want. Our existence destroyed. Morga is still out there. But we do have income from Great Finds, Casualty Replenishment, and Cooldown to Law of Life spells. Right, Lord Wise. Come on then, dude. Let's come over here. And there you go. So if we can get two tree kin like that, we can then get two more tree kin like that, which is. So we'll have six tree kin. Um, let's remove that eternal guard with sh do I have enough yeah, I have enough money so let's get rid of that that will be then that third tree king unit so let's do that and that will take us to 20 and then we're going to run over drop these tree king and then the deepwood scouts and the way watchers off to Durthu and uh, we'll get his units back and we'll have two full stacks uh, just need to watch our economy Right, so our Branch Wraith here. Leadership during forest battles, no. Awakening of the Wood. Or Shield of Thorns. Should let's take the Withering. We don't have that one yet. Let's go with that. Um, in fact, actually, is that a mistake? Is that a mistake? I could have gone replenished troops. 
Oh, never mind. Um, right. Don't want to upgrade any buildings right now. Research-wise, Lord Recruit rank, physical resistance, charge bonus for tree men, forest dragon, speed for all armies, missile resistance. I'm going to go for the missile resistance. I think that can be quite useful. You know, beastmen have a lot of ranged, um, and so do the Skaven. So, you know, if I was fighting vampires, I'd be less concerned about missile resistance. But actually, fighting the Skaven, and particularly Clan Skyer Skaven, actually, hmm, yeah, missile resistance could be incredibly useful. So, two turns is all it's going to take uh, to get those Treekin uh, tree army. There we go. Look at that. We got a uh, Hawk Companion here as well, which is nice. So, in fact, with that, okay, so Glade Captain picks up a point. Okay, so uh, let's give you that. But, uh, okay, Ancillaries. We can give you a Hawk Companion, a Hunting Hound, and a War Dancer Drummer. That'd be nice. The Hawk Companion is really helpful there, increasing the range. Uh, which will be very nice. There you go. One more turn, and that will be done, which is good. We can now start thinking about an upgrade. Uh, this is going to take our income from 700 to 800. This one is going to take our income from 300 to 400. And it's up at 500, but it gives us growth. So let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. That one's income as well. That's control. That's construction cost. Blade singer, so that would be nice. But with a tree man, we've already got magic. Control, I think control might be a useful one. Or income. I'm gonna go with the income. I'm going to go. The reason I'm going to go with the income is one, we're desperate for income. It gives us control anyway, so let's take that. Um, this one here is growth as well, so let's do that one, and that's going to increase income. Um, diplomacy. No. Yes. No. Talsin and Reichland. So let's do Reichland first. Peace. And have some military access, thank you very much. And the Tal Sin as well, military access. He wants defensive alliance, but we're not going to do that. There we go. Well, can we get no trade? No. Okay, good. Perfect. Right then. Next turn, turn 38. Rapidly moving through them, rapidly moving through them. Uh, battles incoming. Not fought many battles yet. Battles will be incoming, I can assure you. With the first major battle, it's going to be assaulting Massive Orkel and finishing off Grom. And then we're going to have one stack to start clearing up some of those random Skyr armies that are running around and see if we can engage Morga. Then Morga could be a challenge. Uh, War Dancer and Blade Singer, Control plus 5 and Leadership. Going to have control and the leadership. Right, excellent. So now we can move our ancient tree man here. Then we're going to try and jump him over here. Trade with Durthu. And we should be having Durthu then should be an excellent, excellent army. And I'm actually going to jump him over because running around here, I don't want to get ambushed by Morg. I know Morg is in this area, right? So I don't want to get ambushed by him. The whole point is to deliver fresh stack units to Durthu. Because I really want to get this done and out of the way so I can get Durthu running after the Barra Legion. Though actually, it's tempting to have Findle's army deal with the Barra Legion. Um, I do want a defensive alliance with Baston. Do you know what? I think I do. I think I'm going to take a defensive alliance with Baston. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to jump you over like so. 
and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And we're going one, two, three, four. Ah, so I don't need all of them, but how many do we want? I'm thinking I might drop one Glade Guard. Right. So that's five. That's five. Which would leave two Treek in. Which would give me seven milli units. And they would have seven milli units. Okay, and then, so that's fine. So we don't want to do that. Then we're going to trade six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four. Actually, what am I doing? I don't want these ones. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five six. There we go. So he now has... Um, that's still not a bad force. In fact, we can upgrade these folks as well. We're going to give them the toughness and the, and the charge defense. And we're going to do the same over here. But you can see now Durthu got a full stack Treekin army backed up with... Um, some glade guard we didn't change all of them some glade guard with the poison arrows um with now some deepwood scouts and some way watchers and that will be my target for the next upgrade to get a, a really solid army maybe another tree man as well i'd like to get at least two tree men um i think that would be uh, really really nice okay um actually i could have traded those two treekin units I uh, can't now. That's fine. Um, right, if we assault, yeah, let's get this. Let's get this done. Uh, they're pretty hammered now. Uh, we've got a bunch of treek in here. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, an interesting settlement. Not too many options here to avoid the walls. Um, <laughs> Actually thinking of coming. So what have we got here? We've got one tower here. And our reinforcements are here. I wonder if we bring the can we bring the reinforcements on? No. No. Okay. So the reinforcements going to have to come on there. Okay, that's fine. All right. Then let's bring. All right. I want you to drop your siege equipment. And I want. You guys, in fact, you guys have all got the Vanguard trait, so you can go like so. Hopefully that'll be enough to avoid this tower. Um, right, then I want Durthu supported by you and you. And I want the tree kin all over here. And then we want these guys to go like so. Okay, channel the magic. Are we going to be lucky? Are we Are going to be lucky? Yes. Look at that. Oh, huge luck. Okay, right. So um, get ready to start the battle. Tree Man in there, Durthu in there. Durthu is going to get a heal straight away. These guys are going to move forward a little bit. Tree Kin, we're going to have you go right up to the walls. And then Glade Guard, you're going right in behind, like so.
just got to break those doors down. Let's get another heal on Durthu because we're going to need it. Okay, we're getting some pressure on the gate now. Just see, we're just clipping the edge of these at the moment. But we are out of that one, I Ready think, or well, not fire. quite. You can see we're just trying to avoid the towers as much as possible. The gate's nearly down. Once the gate's down and we've got the Tree Man and Durthu in here, then we'll be in a good place. Uh, I'm going to put one more heal on Durthu. He is going to take quite a lot of punishment because uh, we are going to use him to lead our way through. So let's heal him up. The gate is nearly down. Nearly there. Come on, guys. Get us in. Get us in the settlement. And we're through. All right, Durthu, in you come. Tree Man, in you come. Treekin, in you come. capture the gate I'm going to create a group with these folks I'm actually going to hold off with this army right now I just don't want them to engage once we've taken this um, I'm going to try and move down and take the uh, the other gates so So want to clear this away once we've cleared these folks away um then the archers we can bring them in and they can start providing some covering fire but dirthu doing his thing and they're already breaking guys on the walls taking uh, hits as well There we go. Trying to get these tree men in. Go on, Dirthu, do your thing. Tree man, do your thing. Oh, in come the trolls. That was a good shot. Well done, Dirthy. What else have we got here? Bound spell bombardment. Oh, that could be useful. Nothing in Ryan range at the moment. Let's deal with those trolls. Okay, fine. Right, okay, so we've made our way out here now. Let's go after these folks. All right, Durthu. Uh, uh, tree Man over here and Durthu. And let the Treekin push over here as we try and break out of this corner now. And we're going to have you guys... Now I'm going to try and get you in. I 
All right, let's get some healing again on Durthu. There we go. That's it, move up. Let's give you a boost as well. Okay, and they're starting to fall back over here. Treekin doing their thing. Get in here. All right, you guys. Start getting some shots onto the tower. Pop that. And then I want you to pop this one. And there we go. And we nearly captured this gate. What are you folks up to? Why are you... Not taking the towers down. This is again this whole pathing issue that we've got. Get you in as well. Tree man. Dirthu. Can you stop shooting people and shoot the towers? Please, shoot the tower, please. All right, we've got that gate. We've got that gate. Good towers being destroyed. Fantastic. All right, these folks can now move up to here. Treekin, move in here. Okay. Towers are down. Taking a while to break down these uh, these barricades. Uh, what are you guys doing? Right, their leader's now broken. Right, we own the gate. Let's keep pushing up here with the Drakin. And it's a victory. And there you go. Uh, so actually, we didn't lose too much doing that. That was absolutely fine. Happy with that. Um, we just had to break uh, the front gate here. Um, pathing again and the shooting with the archers, still a problem. Uh, but a uh, pretty decisive victory. Only lost 131, which taking um, uh, Grom's capital city. I'm pretty happy with that. Treekin, look at that. I mean, they were at the forefront pushing through there, along with Durthu and the Tree Man, and they're all in pretty tip-top shape. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to leave Durthu down here, who's going to try and take out uh, Morga and Skaven. Um, oh, look at that sack value. Or we can raise it for 12,000. I think I'm going to raise it. Uh, right there, destroyed. Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to get Durthu healed up. And then we're going to start looking to push back Morga and the um, and Clan Skyre. Okay, so you're fine. So we need to get you starting to heal up as well. Right, Ancient Tree Man. Yep, yeah, we're going to have some campaign movement. Oak of Ages. We can get that to another level. That will be very good. 
Forest health plus three per turn, control plus four, growth plus 80, uh, all provinces and corruption. Yeah, I think that's definitely worthwhile. And what are we going to do here? Income. Do you know, I might wait. I'd like to try and get another level of that one as well. And two more turns and that finishes. Okay, let's just wait. Um, outpost available, no. And turn. Make sure we do our diplomacy. Artois, so that's a Bretonian one. So, yep. And that's perfect. I do want that um, military access, particularly if I'm going to start playing up and around the Barrow Legion area. Um, what else have we got here? Not interested in you guys. Trade agreement not happening yet. And military access not yet. Okay, that's fine. Right, next turn. Turn 40. Hey, going to turn 41, guys. Halfway, or just over halfway through episode 4 here. And uh, we're rocketing through the turns now. Grom is down, and we're now heading towards completing our... Um, oh, uh, okay, so this, this is where you go, like, what exactly um so with the golden order bearing in mind that we made peace with this and and our attitudes improving we just got an aggression with the empire attitudes improving they're at war with same people that and my allies i uh, don't like we're we're currently neutral three and improving we're only a version 10 and strategic threat minus three what the hell like why would they ever go to war with us, given they've got the vampires here, Sartosa, lots of bad guys coming up through here, greenskins? It just doesn't make sense. Right? It does not make sense why they would go to war with us. And there you go. Heinlein Kemmler has declared war. That's fine, because we're on our way to go and take you out. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Now he's got a full stack up here in Sakarak Ziflin. Chaos Undivided Corruption, but I get the Shrieking Blade, no thanks. And we do get Missile Resistance, which is nice. Right, okay. So we're going to put you into a stance where we can get some replenishment. Because I want to get some replenishment as we move down this way. And you need some replenishment. So we're going to go here. And then we're going to get some replenishment as we move through towards Heinrich Kemmler. Good. So he can now get to level four as well. That's going to improve my income by 50. We get defensive supplies. We get more growth, though. Income from build all buildings faction-wide, plus 3%. Take that. Right, okay, what have we got here? So, charge bonus and speed. Physical resistance for elf infantry. Recruit rank. That's ports. We don't have any. And storm and tree. We're not really out and about. Weapon strength for Elf, Cavalry, Hawk, Eagle. So I don't really want that. Though income from hunting buildings. Mm. Upkeep for all Elf units. Not really anything that at the moment on this area that I'm that... I care that much about. Whereas this one... Leadership for Elf units. Physical resistance for Elf infantry. Fire resistance for elf units and weapon strength for forest dragons diplomatic with dark elves and glo global recruitment's probably nice casualty replenishment is nice dark magic i think i'm going to go down this this route so but i'm going to get this one first speed to all armies is useful and a charge bonus for tree uh tree men okay let's do that go into turn 42 So if we, uh, you know, we've got the usual Occupy, Raise, Settlements, um, uh, you know, it is 30 of them. 
for the short campaign, but it's actually destroyed the Barrow Legion. So we're going to send off an army to do that, uh, while the other army starts defending us against Skya and Morga. It does look like we've been able to stabilize the... Um, uh, I don't want to. I don't want a defensive alliance with you. Um, I had it with Baston because they actually own some settlements uh, for the World Tree. Um, so, if we look down here, yeah, because he's defensive ally, you can see we've now green on that. So what I really need to do is um, get. I need an alliance with Belagar and an alliance with Visenland. Uh, okay, right then. Durthu. We can't make it to Carcassonne. So we're going to stick in this stance. I'm going to come around here. And we're going to look for Morga. This one is still healing a bit. And we're going to come up to here. I want it. I want to heal for a turn and then we're going to I'm going to maybe try and ambush for a turn to see if he pops out. We got two full stacks of pretty reasonable armies, so you know, I'm pretty happy over where the economy is. Okay, so how many Kemla went back over there and his second Okay, interesting. Uh, right, so you want a defensive alliance. There's really no need um, right now. I, I, I'm only looking at the moment of getting alliances with people who actually have world root, um, not world root, have the uh, the tree um, settlements. Oh, so they just sacked Carrick Ziflin. Okay. Raise it. Sack it. Seed it. Do you know I might seed it? Just to give myself a defensive place to hold while we're here. So I think I will seed it. And that will give us some trade goods. Durthu then, not immune because we've got Morga here. Hello, Morga. Uh, I can't get to there. Right, we're going to get into the settlement. Oh, look at Morga, he's still giving us that attrition. That's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. I thought at least if we got in the settlement, we'd be alright, but he's. Uh, Man. Right, I'm going to have to try and get him next turn then before we take too much. He's a pain. His attrition is a pain. What do you want, Carl Franz? You want a military alliance? You're kidding me, man. No, thanks. Not right now. Because you'll start going to... Uh, go to war with everybody and you'll pull me into your bloody wars and there you go there's Wolf Rick yep you're at war with us thank you very much so Morga's gone all the way over there okay so we're back to full right Got to try and catch him. It may be in the underway. Maybe in the underway is how we do it. That might be a good way to start. Right. Kemler's moved out. Okay, that's a shame. I, I need to try and catch Kemler's army first. So I'm going to try and go over here, try and catch Kemler, then come back for Blackstone. Because I don't want to siege Blackstone and then have Kemler come in behind me, right? Um, right, so let's have the bonus for Treekin. 
So let's take that and then let's take inspiring presence for you. Um, saving our economy for another turn. Uh, oh yeah, right, what have we got here? Right, let's have a non-aggression with you folks, because eventually I want to get a defensive alliance with you. Nothing else, that's fine. Midland we can get a non-aggression with and a trade. That's fine. Trade agreement not with Reichland right now. I can get military access with you guys. That's good. And then defensive alliance. I can get a defensive alliance with Reichland. And Reichland do hold one of the... Is it Reichland that hold it? Yeah, Reichland do hold it. So that would give me that one. Clan Angrand, no chance at the moment. Okay, so let's have a defensive alliance. There we go. Perfect. I don't want a military alliance. All right. So, Clan Angrand. We're not far off getting to be able to trade with them. Okay, so they just don't like the Tal Sin at the moment. And they don't like the war with the Golden Order. Oh yeah, can we get any peace with the Golden Order? That would be no. I still don't understand why they went to war. A face such as yours would make for an interesting gilded statue. No, there's no way. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Um, but we do get... We can upgrade this one. I think that could be useful. So we're hunting down Morga and we're going after Heinrich Kemmler. So yeah, uh, I don't think we're going to get all 50 turns. In fact, I know we're not going to get all 50 turns done in this uh, in this episode. So we will go to a fifth episode, which will take us to our 50 turns. I'm hoping I'll have defeated Kemmler at that point, because that will be a major uh, short victory condition uh, uh, complete. Okay, there's Bowman. Yes, thank you. What do you want? You want a military alliance? No, thank you, because again, you'll drag me into your wars. I really don't like military alliances. Um, having no control about which war you get dragged into. No, thanks. Um, okay, we complete that technology. Deep roots minus five cooldown. Okay, that's fine. Where did more go? Where did you go? You've gone into an ambush somewhere. I know you have because you're a sneaky weasel. So I'm going to chance of going this way. Seeing if I can catch him in the deep roots. Did he go this way? I don't think so. I think he's probably gone back down here, maybe. Okay. All right, Kemler, though, you're over here. So I can't catch you on foot, so we'll keep going in the deep roots. Maybe I can catch you that way. And like I say, once we've once we've taken Kemler down, then we can go back for Blackstone. Um, okay, what do we got here? Let's have this one. That will give us that bonus. Carrick Zifflin. Yeah, trade resource. Research now. Uh, physical resistance for elf units. Don't want an outpost. And let's go. Let's go. Come on, Kemler. Where are you? You keep running away from me. We just need to finish him off and then we can go back and siege his city out and we'll be in a good place. Can't find Morga either. It'd be nice to d uh, defeat Morga. What would you like? A defensive alliance? No. Midland Confederated. Ah, we found Morga. Okay. Right, Durthy, where are you? Where is he? We found him. Where did he go? Where did Morga go? Said we located him, but now we don't know where he is. Okay. 
Where did he go? Man, Orion took Morgur's hometown. That's quite funny. Um, he's still here somewhere because there's chaos corruption. But, all right. We're going to have to keep running around trying to find Morgur. He's bloody hard to find. Um, in the meantime... Still can't reach Kemler on foot, so let's come down here. Building upgrade, no. Outpost, no. Diplomacy. No, I don't want to do that. What am I doing? Quick deal. There we go. Oh, Leoness. Uh, yeah, why not? And trade, and there we go. You called? Bowman of Orion. See, Avalon, that would be another nice one to get. Uh, trade agreements. Oh, look. We're, we're building our rep with Vissenland quite nicely. Fantastic. Uh, but we, and we can get military access. Brilliant. Hopefully soon we can get him on a uh, defensive alliance. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay. Peace. Golden Order. Not yet. Ready. Not yet. They're obviously not very... Fr I thought Golden Order would be more friendly with Carl Franz, but clearly not right now. Uh, that's a shame. Okay. And let's turn 46. Actually, uh, we'll see if, if we... Uh, we might be able to finish this in a single episode. We'll see. We'll see. I th uh, I'm not sure. If Kemler takes any more damage, then we we might just go back and siege him out. Maybe draw him to us that way. The problem is going in ambush right now doesn't help because there's actually a whole bunch of uh, Bretonian armies around him. Control, audience of high elves, research rate, 10, income from trade tariffs for minus 5 control. Let's take the minus 5 control. That's actually quite a nice bonus. Trait gain tunneler. Faction destroyed disciples of the moor. Right, Morga, where are you? Still no sign of him. Can we finally hunt down Kemler? What's left of him? There's done nothing left of him. No, right, I'm going to go back and siege him out. Building upgrades. Unlocks, so I can unlock recruitment of Zotes and I get an extra branch race. But this one will give me Way Watchers. I think I'm going to go for the Way Watchers. And we're going to leave it there. We've got three turns to go to complete the episode. But those turns could involve some battles. It could take a long time. So we're going to leave it there. That's the end of episode four. One more episode. I don't think it's going to be a full episode. One more. And I think we'll get to turn 50. Um... And for me, definitely liking Durthu so far, uh, I find him much better than Orion. I find his army stronger, um, the, the way he buffs the Treekin. Uh, I think I played this campaign a little bit better than the Orion one, just getting used to the Wood Elves. Overall, so far, having played uh, the Wood Elves and also been playing other armies off stream, I do think the Wood Elves are in a really strong position. I think they got a good, strong army. Um, and so, yeah, definitely, um, definitely recommended. Um, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think they are... They are they're strong, and I think overall the campaign is reasonably fun, but it's not my type of campaign. Um, I'm uh, a person that enjoys empire building. I like to capture cities. I like to build them up. I like to paint the map, and that's not really what the Wood Elves do. So I think I think it's fun. It's different, especially when you're going to get further on in the campaign and jump around to the different forests and heal them up and everything but but it, i'm more of an empire builder create the borders your territory that sort of thing so not my most fun campaign but definitely strong um strong armies and i definitely think durthu is is right up there uh, we'll see how the other two lords uh, fare so you've been watching the ghost owl tune back in episode five that will finish this campaign